Okay, today I got something special here. I don't know if it's special, but it's a little lawn tractor. Uh, let's see, oil filter. Made in Japan. I believe it's a Tokyo Roki. Tokyo Roki Company Limited oil filter. Um, not sure what kind of tractor it went on, but I'm going to give her a cut open and see how she looks inside. Sadly, I do not have my oil filter cutter coming. Well, it is coming. I don't have it yet. I have one. I ordered one, and it's on the way, but I'll have to open this one the old-fashioned way. So, stick with me. Well, I do have my gloves on, so that's a good thing. And let's see here. Oh, there we go. Ah, I see. The base plate is actually set in very nicely. I don't know if I can get that out. Let me take a look here. Oh, yeah. It actually has a lip. There's a lip it sits inside here. So it actually wasn't that easy to get out. So that probably wouldn't pull off. But, hey, it's a lawn tractor, so you'd probably check for that anyways, hopefully. Uh, there are, ooh, there's four threads, good size holes. This oil looked very clean where this one came off. This oil is very clean on this one. Uh, let's see, we got a rubber. Uh, yeah, it's a rubber drain back valve. That's not too bad. Now, let's see what the inside is all about. This oil looks brand new that was in here. Wow. Okay. Wipe her off here a bit. Uh, I see there's the spring. Just a normal stamp steel spring. And there's the filter. It does, though, have a uh, release uh, valve on it. And that is a very nice built steel release valve. And it's got good pressure. Wow. So, I'm saying this filter is built very nicely. I, I would like to get some more uh, Japanese or foreign country oil filters so I can take a look at them and see how well the other ones are built. But, uh, yeah, paper construction, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to be nicer to paper construction since it's worked for many years. So, I'm going to cut off the... Uh, the filtration here and we'll get down closer to the inside of the filter so as we do notice though it does have a where the uh, filter is connected a steel connection to keep it together and I am just going to pull it apart hopefully here now see if I can get this uh, connection out of here I guess that wasn't that hard and move that aside see if i can pull this uh did i cut deep enough i don't know this is a pretty now that i look at it this is a deep filter like the filtration goes in very far i don't even think i cut through all the filtration here so wow i'm shocked how deep this is Hopefully on that side I got through now. I am getting down there now, I think. Without cutting my fingers off. That's why I use this knife to cut them. This one stays where it's supposed to go. Okay, now let's see if we can get in there and get her pulled apart. Um, there we go. Well, maybe I didn't get in there all the way. Uh -huh. Well, I'm not going to cut anymore. I can see how deep it is there. The filtration is actually very nice for, for paper, but it seems to filter all right. There's good holes on the inside. I love this uh, release valve. Too bad these weren't on cars. These are great. Uh, everything else is just standard stuff with uh, four holes, so everything looks great. Thanks for watching.